everybody, it's Katie Rose here from Wild Rose Buds, and today I am going to be talking to you guys about the Uppa Baby G Lux Umbrella Stroller. We love our Uppa Baby, we work with Uppa Baby all the time, and we actually have the Vista, but when it's time for traveling around, doing some road trips, sightseeing in Nova Scotia, or even if we wanted to go on a plane, the Vista is a little bit too bulky to be traveling with. So we wanted a really good um, umbrella stroller that actually reclines because when a baby is traveling obviously they don't get as much sleep and they become more tired and many travel strollers don't actually recline but this up a baby Glex does now when we first looked into umbrella strollers with Aubrey this was voted the best umbrella stroller on the market but it does have a higher price point than the ones that you would usually see you know at Walmart or any place like that but it's 100% worth it a few of my favorite features of the Uppa Baby G Lux would definitely be the fact that it reclines and it's super easy to recline as well. It's just a little snap here and it goes all the way down. Another great feature about this is the fact that when the baby is sleeping you can have their legs up or just by pressing two other buttons here you can actually have it so that their knees are bent. It's super transformable whatever you need to have for your children at that time. Another great thing is that it's super easy to uh, change the straps into their sizing and it has a nifty little pad here that you can actually take off and wash and it keeps the integrity of the stroller intact so that you can use it for more than one child because you're able to wash it easily. One downfall I find with the Uppa Baby G Lux is it is a bit harder to open and close but with any new stroller I find that usually gets a little bit easier as the stroller ages and gets used a little bit more. We've been using this for about two months now and it still is a little bit difficult, but I'm guessing within the next couple of months that's going to ease up. Another downfall is the basket underneath isn't as big as the Vista is what we're used to, but it's still a great size for a travel stroller, so you can't really complain too much about it, but just beware. One of my favorite features of this is the same as the Vista, it comes with an additional sun shield. So when you're opening up the canopy, opens up easily, but then it has that additional sun shield on it so that it keeps that sun out of the baby's eyes. Another great thing for when you're traveling with the Uppa Baby G-Lex is that it has a strap to put over your shoulder once it's collapsed. It is a bit heavier so I wouldn't recommend it if you're knowing you need to travel with the stroller over your shoulder for a long period of time, but it definitely helps when you're gathering your suitcases and you're getting ready to head out onto the road or to find a taxi. It does come with a cup holder as well for your drinks. We don't have it attached at the moment, but it usually is attached. And their uh, stroller caddy, their stroller organizer that hooks onto the handles actually fits onto this one as well. Wheels are a great size. Um, we have actually tested this out on our gravel sidewalks here in our small village to head to the beach and it's actually a pretty nice ride for the children. It's not too bumpy. One con with the stroller is that it isn't very good for steering with one hand. You definitely need to have both hands onto the handles for it to steer properly. Another easy thing though with it is the brake. It is a one foot brake and it brakes locks all wheels. And you can also lock the front wheels as well. And like with all of the babies, the size is really good. Our four year old is very tall. He's almost four feet tall and he can still fit into the stroller, the G-Lex. He is a little bit too big for the Vista, but the G-Lex still fits him. So thanks so much for watching this review. If you like ones like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe.